For the past year, a Dartmouth filmmaker has been working on a documentary that touches at the heart of Canada's military. Featuring the stories of soldiers wounded in combat, Broken Soldiers explores a much larger issue facing our veterans. The film is premiering tonight at Empire Theatres in Dartmouth Crossing at 7 o'clock. Here's an excerpt. The National War Memorial in Ottawa is a remarkable tribute to the courage of our soldiers. The bronze faces of the monument look exhausted. Yet each individual pushes forward, and as a group they seem to steady one another. Each soldier appearing to understand that when they work together, they are strong. Well, the producer and director is Dale Stevens of Clarity Entertainment, and he joins us this morning to talk about the film. Good morning. Good morning, Heidi. So now, why did you want to make a film on this topic? I'm a bit of a military history fan to begin with. Um, I've you know, read, and read books and studied it since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, a friend of mine, Dennis Manouge, approached me a number of years ago, back in 2008, and uh, started to discuss some of the problems he was having. And it sort of just opened my eyes to uh, uh, to some of the other issues going on. And uh, you know, once you get sort of introduced to this type of topic, you start to hear other stories and other people with similar problems, and you and you go, "Wow, there's something here that needs to be looked at." And, and uh, that's sort of where the the documentary came from. Mm -hmm. So now, who did you talk to for the documentary? Uh, we uh, we started off talking to Dennis Manuj, and Dennis um, uh, introduced us to just person after person. Because he's a veteran. Exactly. Veteran. Yes, he yeah. is. And uh, he um, he introduced us to Steve Dornan, um, the, the from uh, the Greenwood area, mm -hmm. um, and uh, his his wife Roseanne, and uh, who's having troubles with uh, his uh, uh, cancer that. Uh, um, is it, it, they, they've been uh, b they believe that it comes from exposure to depleted uranium, mm -hmm. and uh, so th that was the next one. And that's a chemical sort of a chemical exposure story. Uh, we talked to Jim Lowther, who uh, has vets in he's from Dartmouth, and uh, he uh, his program deals with homeless veterans. And we met a couple of homeless veterans, uh, uh, Fabian Mil Milanson. Uh, from New Brunswick and uh, Rob Dobson from uh, from uh, Nova Scotia. And again, these are veterans, and uh, um, so it just you, you know every, each person led to another person led to another person, and just started to wonder how big is this problem? Like how many of of these? This is Nova Scotia, right? We, there's other provinces. How many of these problems persist right across the country? So, based on your research for the documentary, I mean, what is the problem? What's going on? Well, I, I just think it's. Uh, uh, probably about five decades worth of, of uh, uh, not looking at the, 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 the issues and the problems and the changes that have happened in the forces in those years. And uh, I think what we see here is a, a, a sort of a modern, a modern veterans movement. Um, people are, uh, are not happy with their treatment. Uh, there's um, the internet now, social media, email, they're connecting to each other like they've never connected before and they're able to con compare stories, they're able to compare um, issues and they're seeing that there's discrepancies in how those, those, those issues are being handled and uh, uh, they're, like I said, they're communicating and uh, they're not taking it anymore and we're seeing that more and more in the media that, that uh, people are speaking out uh, against the, the treatment that they've been receiving. Now did you talk to uh, anyone in the federal government about uh, what is or is not being done to help veterans? Well, uh, we spoke uh, in, in the documentary is Peter Stoffer, and he has a very strong voice, as we as we know, in the in the area here, uh, when it comes to to veterans, um, and, and he's in the documentary several times. And uh, um, we tried to speak with Veterans Affairs Canada, um, didn't have much luck in that regard, um, and. Uh, um, uh, and unfortunately, their voice isn't in the documentary, but there's a lot of veterans who will, uh, you know, speak loud and clear. Too bad that they didn't feel like they wanted to talk about it, though. Yeah, I, I think it would have been a, a good opportunity for them to state their case as well. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you hope people will take away from the film if they uh, go tonight? I think people will take um, a sense of sadness, um, a sense of injustice. Um, in the end, I think that they will have a better understanding of what veterans' issues are. Um, and what I hope they'll take away is what I took away from it is start to question, start to ask, start to have an opinion, and, 
and uh, show that these veterans that we actually uh, we care for the service that they gave our country and uh, we can only do that by standing behind them because they stood for us so. well Dale thank you so much for coming in and telling us a bit about the film again if you want to see it it is premiering tonight at Empire Theatres Dartmouth Crossing at 7 p.m. it's called Broken Soldiers Dale thank you again thank you very much